This is the tool bench that Papa built while he was at Jason's. And as you can see, he designed it so that it would be on wheels, which are whole, a Harbor Freight uh, furniture dollies with a two by four connecting two of them. Now, one of the features of this is, is that it's 30 inches wide and about 30 inches tall uh, as far as uh, from the base to the height. Um, and a little bit extra, of course, for the, uh, for the dollies. Now you can see inside, there's a nice spacious inside and we have cross beams here. We've got one on each end and we've got three of them in the middle. And so two by four, two by eights coming form the base of this four of them across with a little piece in the middle. Um, Papa got instructions not to paint the inside. Although he got mixed up and started to paint the inside of the door. He had to switch it. You'll note here that these are our cabinet uh, hinges. So they, the flat pieces on the inside and on the outside, we have that little thing right there showing. Um, and they fit pretty nicely. Papa had to sand it down. He got it all fit, but he had to sand it down because it was a little bit off. I think I didn't put the hinges back quite the same way that they were when they were on. They may need a little bit of adjustment. I can see that right now. Anyway, um, you'll note that the top is not painted. The top has tongue oil on it. Right now we've got two layers. And you can see these screws coming across here. That's what uh, was used to seal it to the cross beams. And then we've got wood filler in there. Now there's two types of wood filler. There's the homemade wood filler that Papa made from sawdust and glue. And then there's the um, solvent-based, uh, with acetone uh, serving as a solvent. Uh, that he used to fill in the various cracks and stuff. Now, this is strategically designed so that it has uh, two and a half two by fours out here hanging on the edge. So that's where you can put your vise. But across every angle, there's at least one two by four, including the back, where you can put vices. Uh, so you can put your you can clamp stuff on there. You can see there, uh, we put a little cut off a little piece of uh, two by four and put it underneath there to make sure that it would seal tight. Whereas we just sealed it really tight here with uh, shims and plastic wood here. But there you have it. Uh, you put your clamps right here and we'll probably ultimately put a vise here, right here on the top. So um, we still have to, Jason will have to put the, have to, I left it for him to put the knobs where he wants them. But there you have it. Oh, and you can see here that the plywood on the bottom was designed so that it comes all the way out. It's like these, these beams here coming up, the vertical beams are just like floating there. You can't even tell because the plastic, the, the plywood covers out there. And then I cut out little pieces to cover those and then cover them, seal it off with plastic wood so you can't tell. So it's really a very elegant tool bench, I think. Anybody would be proud to have this. And it cost, I don't know, maybe $100 for material, something like that. And then the labor, you know, figuring all the hours that Papa put into it. You know, we're, we're putting that, we're estimating that labor cost at about three or $4,000. But you know, it's negotiable. All right, that's it, Papa's tool bin. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we put tongue oil. We put, oh, maybe I did mention that. We put Two layers of tongue oil on here soaked in here so we're not we're not painting that all right all right bye now